What's up guys, welcome back to Half Man Half Tech. So iOS 14.3 is now out. And for me on my iPhone X that you can see here, you can see the update size that it comes in at around 4.05 gig. The update size is going to vary depending on the device that you have. And this is an iPhone 6S, it supports iOS 14.3. So if we go into the settings and then go to general and then go to software update, you can see we have something. You can see the update size that we have here that is 3.57 gigs. So depending on the device you have, it's going to range from three and a half gigs to four and a half gigs. That's the update size range. So the first thing that came with this update has to do with AirPods Max. So the new Apple headsets, the over here headphones, are now supported on iOS 14.3. The new Apple AirPods Max actually cost more than the higher end of the Sony PlayStation 5, the Blu-ray edition. And so if you made up your mind that you'll be getting the new Apple AirPods Max with this update, they are finally supported. The way you connect to them if you bring them close to your iphone they will automatically pay or you can always pay them manually by going to the bluetooth section of your phone also something that's supported with this update has to do with apple fitness plus so on this if we look at for the fitness app this fitness app you now have support for apple fitness plus with apple fitness plus you actually get three months for free if you're setting up your apple watch for the first time and on the apple watch you actually need to use the workout app and you get quite a number of different workouts depending on the workout that you want to do that best fits or best suits your need and you'll be able to watch either those videos that will take you through the workouts either on an iPhone that has iOS 14.3 or a TV that have tvOS 14.3 or even an iPad that has iPadOS 14.3 and then you'll be able to go along and you'll be able to get the metrics that this app will be taking and also you'll be get able to get more information on the activity app on the Apple Watch. Now this is supported and also let's look at something else that came with this update it has to do with the weather app so i have the widget here you can see my location and everything but now with ios 14.3 this application actually gives you more information if there's warnings in your area it will tell you that and also depending on the weather or the location that you've set you actually be able to access local information by your local weather channel that is good and it's something good that came with this update. If I go into my camera app, you can see basically that this is actually my selfie. And if I take a selfie and view it, you can see that it's actually mirrored. So you can see this camera end is actually here, the grip. But if we close this, you can see that the grip has moved to the right hand side. Now, if you don't want to mirror your photos, what you want to do is to actually go into your settings and then go to the camera section here. And you see here where it says mirror front photos. So if you turn this on, now your selfie pictures or photos that you take with the, with the front camera will be mirrored. So if we go back and open our camera and take a selfie, you can see that it takes it as it is, or in fact, it's mirrored. So with this update, it's actually available from the iPhone 8 all the way to, I believe, the iPhone uh, X. It was available before and then got removed, but with iOS 14.3, this actually has been returned, which is great for people that want to use this. And also something that has to do with the photos still, if you have an iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max and you go into your settings and you go to your camera section here, you can actually be able to take pro raw photos and videos if you have the iphone 12 pro or 12 pro max this is not an iphone 12 pro or 12 pro max so you won't see this option but it's actually good uh, that it's allowed for that and when you are in your camera app you actually be able to see pro raw there and you can actually tap it on and then tap it off so that's something good that came with this update if you open the app store and then you select a specific application so let's say for example this angry birds 2 if we select this and then go down 
soon with iOS 14.3 because this is now a requirement from Apple that developers include privacy information that is being collected or what sort of information this application uses when it comes to your privacy. So this it's been added and from time to time if you are on iOS 14.3 you will actually see quite a number of applications being updated in order to comply with Apple's new rules of adding this privacy feature so that is something and it's something that came with this update and also something else that came with this update has to do with the ps5 controller so if you've made up your mind that you won't be getting the airpods max and got the ps5 you are now actually able to connect your controller with your iphone on ios 14.3 the way you do that is very simple go to your settings and then go to the bluetooth section so if you go to the bluetooth section which is right here if you set your ps5 controller into connection mode or pairing mode you actually be able to see your ps5 controller here if you are fortunate enough to have that device so this is how you pair it and with this update it's actually supported also something that changed with this update if we are still into settings here and if we go if we go back to safari so in settings if you go to the safari settings and then you see this section here that says search engine if you click there you can see that you can actually change your search engine to ecosia depends on how you pronounce it but this is a new search engine that you can use and within safari if you are searching for something you can actually select this i'll keep mine by default on google and that's something also that came with this update also something else that came with this update has to do with the health app there's been quite a number of updates within the health app and the one that i want to show you if we go to the browse section and search for pregnancy so let's search for that pregnancy if you select this section here i have no data because obviously this is for females and if you have pregnancy or you want to track your pregnancy you can actually input your information here and you actually be able to see how long you've been pregnant for and also if you are female and you want to track your cycles you see you can actually track that and this is a new feature that came with ios 14.3 where you can uh, track your pregnancy by weeks months or years and it's something great and also something else that has been sort of fixed with this update has to do with ipad sharing so if you share your devices with others whether it's family sharing or it's paired with other members you can actually do this it was there before but on the previous versions there were issues with that and with ios 14.3 that issue has been fixed and you can set up your ipad for sharing also with this update we have improvements when it comes to the shortcut app so this app if you have used it to create quite a number of shortcuts like i have i have so many shortcuts so if you are opening a shortcut instead of you know having to open through the shortcut app and then launching the shortcut it automatically opens direct so just like a normal application like you see how youtube opens directly into youtube so shortcuts are also opening just like that and it's something great that came with this update also something else that has been improved has to do with apple tv so if you have the apple tv or you are an apple tv subscriber you actually have more features you can search by different categories and i actually don't have enough time to watch tv so i haven't set mine up but if you do that is something that you can always uh, check out and if you have a home app or you have a home pod app you have the ability to now update your uh, connected devices to the latest available software update for all home connected devices, which is something that came with this update. It's great that they've added this. And also the last thing that I would like to, uh, the second last thing in fact that I would like to touch on has to do with app clips. So with iOS 14.3, you can actually scan a section of an app clip and use a specific function of that app without having to download the app. So it's something that's good and that WW WDC Apple had said that this is something that will be supported on iOS and finally with iOS 14.3 it's here if you want to pay for parking instead of downloading the app and setting everything up you can just take a picture or scan the app clip on the mirror and just 
perform the function that you want to do without having to download the app which is a good thing and the last thing that i would like to mention has to do with health so health has been updated with this update quite a lot and if we go into our health app right and then go to the browse section let's cancel the search that we had done here so if we go into our browse section and go to the heart section here you can see that we actually have an option to measure our vo2 max or our cardio fitness and as you can see here this cardio fitness level what it does it measures the maximum volume of oxygen that your body uses during a workout so for me this is my cardio fitness level and you can see that it's above average and that's for the one day and if we actually go to where it says show all cardio fitness levels so if we click there you can sort of see that it shows us what above average looks like what uh, high looks like and then if we click on the little eye here you can see that this is the range that I fall in and this is slightly above average and that's the range that my cardio fitness level is and if you go to the high section this is how it will look for you if you are a male if you are a female it's going to look something like this slightly lower so your cardio fitness level depends on your age and your gender so it will be able to tell you whether your cardio fitness level reading is high or low and if it's high it will actually tell you that high levels of fitness can substantially improve the long-term outlook for your health and then if your cardio fitness level level is low so if it looks something like this if you're a male and if it looks like, like this if you're a female it will tell you that low levels of fitness are associated with substantial long-term risks to your health so this is good that they've added this and for you to actually be able to have this and be able to get your cardio fitness levels with your apple watch you have to be obviously doing a workout so if you go like for a hike for like 30 to 40 minutes your app will detect that and you'd be able to give your cardio fitness levels and you have to have an apple watch that has watch away 7.2 or later so this is how you are actually going to be using your cardio fitness levels levels and basically those are the new features that came with this update now there were quite a number of bugs that were fixed the first one has to do with the notification bug so for me on my iphone that you see here actually from time to time i'll get a notification that says i have a voice note and when i would go in I wouldn't see anything also the same goes with the messages i would go in and not see anything despite having notifications like what this youtube app shows although i know this is correct because i have comments and uh, videos that i need to reply to and also the rest are correct it's just the notifications for the phone and mail and also the search bug has been fixed so if you search for something here you can see that you know you actually be able to see you know whether it has to do with your emails or just on the web you can see that it's fixed and also the keyboard is no longer disappearing or appearing glitched unlike what was there before so those are some of the fixes that came with this update and also in the background of this update there's actually quite a number of security updates that came with this update now as you can see apple didn't actually list all the security updates one by one but they are there in the updates and a lot of uh, and a lot of stability improvements so basically that's how it came in for me this is a great update and i would recommend it to anyone and if you like this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed a sub would be great thanks for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace